But it doesn't stop there. It even gets better. This is the most hope-filled chapter. Look at verse 13. Now may the God of hope, so this is what God is characterized by. He says, I am the source. I am the, the one who offers this. I am the one who provides it. I'm the one who empowers it. I'm the one who secures your hope. Look at this. Fill you with all joy, and the all is understood to lop over into all peace in believing that you may, whoa, not just have a little bit of hope, uh, perissimu, that you may abound, that you may overflow, that, that, that you might have so much it just doesn't, you can't hold it in, that your hope spills out. You go, man, I don't have that. Whoa, here's where it comes from. It's supernatural. See, religion teaches people how to kind of, uh, you know, conduct themselves according to this code, and they have this shared code in religion. They all try and do it, and they do it kind of well, but a lot of them doesn't work. That's religion. The revelation of God in Jesus Christ is that we live a supernatural, empowered by the Holy Spirit. We have divine energy in an endless supply for abundant living. So we have an endless supply of divine energy for this abundant living. This, this living of all joy, all peace, filled with hope. That's the Christian life. That's actually our new operating system. That's what happens. That's the breath of life that breathed into us when we got saved. God started through his spirit breathing into us all joy, all peace, overflowing hope. Not because we're trying as hard as we can. I'm going to try again next week. It's by the power of the Holy Spirit. How do we get that? God is characterized by hope. The spirit overflows us with hope, joy, and peace. All we do we were just singing about it. But I will put or keep my eyes on you. We just, how many times did we sing that? Keep my eyes on you. We, all we do is surrender and, and look to the one that, that offered it and ask and, and look at them believing that God can do what he promised. That's what hope is. God is going to do what he promised. And all I'm supposed to do is, the God who is characterized by hope, the spirit who overflows in me with hope and joy and peace, all I have to do is surrender and ask and believe, and God will do what he promised. All you have to do is ask. You'll feel this wave if you're saved and connected. You'll feel this wave across your life of joy. Joy is a detachment from my circumstances. Peace, that's this settled completeness in life that I don't need anything else. Me plus Christ means satisfaction. Me without Christ means dissatisfaction. You know, we have to be like, you know, the Brad Pitts of this world, that how many wives has he had? You know, both those he's married to and those he hasn't been. And he has $250 million and he is not very happy. Me plus Christ is satisfaction. Me without Christ is endless, restless dissatisfaction. God is characterized by hope. The Spirit overflows us, our lives, with hope, joy, and peace. All we have to do is surrender. Ask for it. Jesus said, you have not because you ask not, through James. And you ask and receive not because you ask amiss because you want to consume it on your lusts. We surrender, ask, and believe. And God does what he promises, and it doesn't end there.